All right, y'all, we got a brand new Bruce Lee collab, but maybe not from the brand that you were expecting. It's still cool though. Hey, what's going on everyone? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today, we got a detailed look and breakdown on these potential bad boys right here. This is the Leaning Ushuai 18 Ultra. So they have a obviously a long lasting line, the Ushuai line. We've reviewed a couple of them before. Some of them have not been my favorite shoes. Like I, I tend to find them to be very cheap. These are not those luckily. And on top of that, the Ultra versions are the better versions between the two. There's usually a base model and then an Ultra model. So again, this is the Ultra version on on top of all of that, these are ridiculously light. They tout these as the lightest like Ushuai model in their lineup. And uh, it definitely feels like, this also feels like it's like way lighter than anything on the shelf. Like it's kind of crazy. What are you smirking about? My question of the day. Oh great. <laughs> so excited but with all that being said let's go ahead and take a look at the traction shall we it's pretty interesting i don't know what to call it it's kind of flat but it's also aggressive at the same time it's just not peaked you know what i mean like all of the grooves are flat and smooth but there's a lot of them so i don't know how this is going to perform on dust but if i'm looking at their diagrams on their website properly it says that it's going to be ultra grippy i'm assuming i don't read chinese so forgive me but yeah that's basically the the gist of things i don't know if it's supposed to mimic water or anything like that because you know the bruise Lee thing but at the same time all the colorways have this kind of upper and outsole so I doubt that that's the case I think that it might just be a happy coincidence but the shoe feels like it could grip really well like when I take them on our little stage over there with the wood floors feels awesome so fingers crossed the midsole itself you can't see on the lateral side it's fully caged uh, very similar to something that you would find over at Adidas with their like crazy explosive line and things like that but when you move it over and you see the medial side you can see that it is full length boom cushion and boom cushion is there version of an ETPU. This version is ultra lightweight though. Like it feels really weird. It honestly feels really cheap in hand. It almost feels like styrofoam. It's just kind of strange, but on foot, it feels super bouncy. I don't know how they were able to do that. On top of that is this insole. The insole might be where a bunch of the comfort is also coming from. So it doesn't look like much. It's pretty thin. It's pretty basic looking, but it also is very rubbery feeling like underfoot and in hand. So solid insole if you were looking to not replace it, but obviously you can remove it and replace it with anything that you might want or if you happen to wear an orthotic now there's a lot of support right here at the midfoot area you can see that there's this big old tpu chassis and then underneath that sandwiched in between the boom cushion is actually a carbon fiber plate and it's a spring plate on top of that so it goes into the forefoot just a little bit that also might be helping the cushion feel ultra springy because like these just i don't know what they're doing over there but they have no business feeling this good with how light they are in hand the upper itself uh looks pretty basic and it feels pretty basic too it's ultra light as well which i know is like a running theme for this particular model again they tout it as the lightest version of this shoe and they're not lying so uh yeah this is a really interesting upper uh, it's got like a micro mesh in there it's almost like plastic looking and then they have this additional threading on top that is for structure and support it looks like it's going to act very similarly to the scales on the nike kobe 6 where it's there to kind of protect the softer material underneath it i don't know if softer is the best word like maybe fragile I don't, i'm not sure you've got a interesting lace system where you have the little nylon straps but they're not straps or tabs or anything like that they don't go all the way down instead they're affixed on the exterior of the eye stay so it uh, gives it for an interesting look I do wonder how that's going to play like long term like are those threadings going to break or are they using threadings that are strong enough to actually hold uh, when you like really tighten up your laces this particular colorway is really cool actually like the more that I look at it you got all of the Bruce Lee isms in there you got the claw mark and all that stuff you actually have him in embroidered into the shoe or the upper on the medial side at the arch it literally says bruce lee inside this little circle there and that's probably the funniest and cutest thing that i've ever seen on a sneaker because like you know we got the jump man the the dunk man and all that stuff and then you got little bruce lee right over there and just go you know Wah. and it's cool man <laughs> so as somebody that grew up watching those bruce lee movies it's kind of interesting to see this oh he's all over the pull tab too all kinds of man this is kind of dope i gotta say they're doing like different parts of his fighting style i think it was called like jeet kune do or something like that i was just watching a thing on bruce lee the other day it's not a, it was not a bruce lee it was actually on his daughter what if it's like uh the water scroll and if you put them all together it's, it's like teaching you thing. a form maybe i don't know but yeah shout out to the water tribe water tribe 
one of the biggest areas of the shoe happens to be right here at the rear this big black section right there it's a very interesting piece because it's not just there for looks it's also there for functionality it's a big old support piece so much like a tpu heel counter or heel cup that's exactly what this is the difference though is that this isn't tpu it's actually foam it's a very firm foam on top of that so i'd be curious to know like what they did to this to make it feel this way because you can feel that it's soft in some areas and very firm in others specifically this little ankle pillow area where behind it you actually have a giant ankle pillow in there which is awesome because it's protecting you from all of that material but then on the outside it's very firm for support and everything like that so even though this is kind of a knitted upper it's not lacking in support or anything it doesn't feel flimsy and then as far as sizing is concerned they fit true to size for me at least so whatever you typically wear that's exactly what I would order if you ever have a question with like a Chinese branded shoe and you're not sure what to order make sure that you match up your euro or centimeter size that's listed on your size labels and then match that up online and then that'll give you the most accurate breakdown as far as like what you should order yourself uh, what what was that weird smirky question of the day i have a few of them so There's pick a few okay. so pick one two or three and that'll decide which question i'm gonna ask you all right i'm going with three so in this scenario you can surf so you're out in the ocean surfing would you rather there be a bunch of sharks or a bunch of jellyfish jellyfish are you sure oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I will get, I don't care how bad that hurts, man. I am deathly afraid of sharks. You know this. I know this. I am fascinated by sharks, but I'm also the same kid that thought they were about to come out of its water spout while taking a shower, which I know is, is illogical and weird, but hey man, I have a weird imagination, okay? And I swear to you that they were gonna come out of the shower head in droplets and reform as a solid <laughs> That's shark. That's how you saw it? Yes. <laughs> I always pictured it as a giant head that came out, nah, wrestled bro. its way out of the mm -mm. spout at you. This thing was just like a, <laughs> it was like, like T-1000 just coming out of the, like. <laughs> it's not happening. I don't go in the ocean because of those things. And I know that the likelihood of me running into one at the shore and everything is really, really slim. And it doesn't matter. I stay the fuck on the sand. I'm a land mammal. So yeah, it's nice that I could surf in this scenario and I'll never use that skill. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, it's not happening. What would you choose? Uh, and do we know what kind of sharks they are? No. <laughs> not that it matters, but like if it's a whale shark, they're friendly. Mm -hmm. If it's a f***ing tiger shark, you're f I just feel like there's a better possibility of me making it back to land if it's a shark. I would have a heart attack <laughs> on the way over. It's just because the jellyfish, the jellyfish aren't even attacking you. They're like yeah, going they're with the ocean mm -hmm. and you're you're going to like run into one. But you see, that's the whole And then the it's whole, probably going to bounce you into though. another one. That's the whole thing. Say I'm just sitting on the board, okay? <laughs> So pretend like the insole's the board, my leg's just hanging over, and the jellyfish brushes by me and hits my leg, and I'm, ow, oh sh there's a school of jellyfish. Let me float on my board for a little bit while they go on past. Mm -hmm. That is not as scary as not being able to see a predator that can... No. No, but in this scenario, you're not just waiting to catch the waves. You're already like in the barrel of the wave or yeah. something. Yeah, and I'm not <laughs> with no sharks. No sharks. Okay. Okay? No <laughs> way. My stomach is hurting right now. Just thinking about this. Shit. It's not cool. But sound up below. Let us know. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know what you think about the shoes as well. If you feel like it, even though I'm scared of sh sharks right now. So, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We greatly appreciate it. We will catch you guys on the next one. So until then, y'all have a good one.